Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another relationship video. And this video is for college students, but also for high schoolers because I think that this can be an important message for high schoolers to know as well. Um, and this video is entitled, Are You Getting Too Serious Too Are You Getting Serious Too Quickly? And I want to put a special message out there for high schoolers because I learned this while I was in high school. Um, I learned that Okay, I remember my freshman year of high school, the speaker, guest speaker came and talked to us for like a whole week about relationships, about high school, about everything. And he told us specifically freshmen and sophomores not to get into serious relationships, especially your freshman and sophomore year. I mean, think about it. You're 14 or 15 years old. You just got out of junior high. What do you really know about a relationship? What do you know about a serious relationship? And I think that high school relationships are supposed to be fun, they're supposed to be easy going, they're supposed to be light and free, and they're not supposed to be this heavy thing that ties you down and just has you with so many obligations to where you just can't even have fun anymore. I don't think high school relationships are supposed to be like that. And even, you know, even starting out, you're in the beginning of college, they shouldn't even be like that. But I really want to stress this for high school because you really don't know what you want. You're still growing up. You're still coming into your own skin, and you're really trying to find out what you want. So to get into this relationship while you're in that developmental stage in your life is kind of dangerous, and it causes a lot of problems for yourself, for your friends, and everyone else around you, and it causes a lot of drama. So I think that high school relationships should just be kept, you know, casual, and they shouldn't turn into this serious thing. And this is for my own personal thing. If you have, you know, your own views about high school relationships, fine. But for me, I think that to get in a serious relationship in high school is really, you know, really too much. <sighs> okay. Now, college relationships. Now, um, I think college relationships can get serious because usually chances are you will end up meeting someone in college that you could possibly marry. This is sure that most people, young adults, find someone they meet and they marry in college and they marry after they graduate from college and they meet their soulmate in college. So I think that college is probably the most appropriate time to start looking for that serious relationship. But I also know that there's a balancing act that shouldn't happen too quickly because it can distract you from your studies. It can distract you from graduating and trying to get your diploma or your degree or whatever you're going for. So I feel that like jumping in too quickly can be dangerous as well, but even more dangerous while you're in high school. So I just kind of want to put that message out for high school and for people in college. Um, so how do you know if you're getting too serious too quickly? First of all, I know a lot of people um, who start off slow. They start off as friends, and they have this really chill, kind of laid-back relationship where you know they just seem like they're really close friends, and they really care about each other, and you know they just have this really, really chill relationship. Okay, but then I also know people that you know get into a relationship and they're saying I loved you within the first two weeks. When is it the right time to say I love you? Some people say it's three months. Some people say it's six months. And it really just depends. You really know when it's the right time. But really, within two weeks of dating, I think that that is definitely way, way too soon. Like, that is way too soon to have those many feelings for someone. I think a lot of people in this day and age throw around the word love. They throw it around like it means nothing. And so people don't really know what love is because the term is thrown around so lightly and to say I love you within the first two weeks um, doesn't make the relationship any more deeper you're just using a word that really possibly doesn't mean anything that early on in the relationship so um, throwing around the, the word love can take away something from the relationship, I think, than if you were to say it within, you know, three months to maybe six months of dating. So I think that saying I love you, and it's usually the girl who gets into that I love you thing. I know guys do it too, but mostly girls are looking for the guy to say I love you, and guys kind of want to take a longer time to get into that I love you kind of thing. And so I think, like, both of you guys will know when it's the right time, and jumping in too quickly saying I love you, um, can put a lot into a relationship. So I think when you start saying I love you, that's when it starts turning into this more of a casual thing to more of a, okay, hey, I really I really like you and this is turning serious kind of thing. 
Another thing you can tell that's getting too serious is that you find yourself spending more and more and more time with this person, which I find is nothing wrong with that. You are dating and you should be spending a lot of time with this person. But if you find yourself spending so much time with this person that you start losing friendships, um, you start you stop um, spending time with your family, and you find yourself spending more time with this person than you do, you know, someone you've been friends with for years, I think that's a sign that maybe it is getting very serious and maybe that you should tone it down. Um, I think it can hurt you. I think it hurts on both sides when you've been friends with someone and, you know, you stop being friends with them just to hang out with this person all the time that you don't spend any time with, you know, the friends that you've been friends with for years. I think it hurts you and I think it hurts the other person. I say it hurts you because once you break up with this person, you're not going to have that close circle of friends that you had to support you, to care about you, and to give you support. And I think you need friends when you're in a serious relationship or when you're in a relationship in general just to give you advice and be there for you. But if you're closing your friends out, um, you won't have any friends once your relationship is over. You won't have anybody to go to to you know console you and to give you support. And I also think it hurts the person that you've been friends with for years because all of a sudden, you know, this person that's used to hanging out with you all the time doesn't even get to spend time with you because you're constantly always with that person and they feel left out, they feel like the third world. So I think that's a balancing act of, you know, finding time for your friends and also finding time for your significant other. So that's another thing, like, if you find yourself losing those close relationships, I think that's you know kind of a sign that you were getting really serious too quickly. Okay, um, another sign is you stop putting emphasis on things that are important. For instance, um, your schoolwork. If you find yourself not studying as much for a test, if you find yourself like putting aside your studies to go out all the time, hang out with your significant other, that's also a sign that you're getting too serious. If you see your grades slipping through the cracks and all the things that you worked hard for kind of start to depreciate, that means that you have lost interest in everything else and you only care about your significant other. Okay, that is definitely a sign. I think especially in high school and college relationships, School should definitely be a priority. I mean, that is why you're there. That's how you end up meeting this person because you were in college and you were working towards a goal. And and in high school as well, you're working towards trying to get into college. And in college, you're working towards trying to get that degree. So if you're just like completely just like lost focus on your studies and everything else, then that's also a sign that you're getting too serious too quickly. And I think that when you're in a relationship, you need to, you know, talk with your person that you're dating and tell them, okay, um, such and such a night is for me to study and maybe we can go out on this day and this day is gonna be for me to study. And I think even studying together can be a distraction. So I really think that when you're dating, you need to have this time to say, okay, we won't be able to go out tonight because I really, really need to study for this test or I really need to work on this paper that I have due. You really need to let each other know, hey, this is an important day for me. I need just to be to myself. I need to study and I need to focus on my schoolwork. So it is possible possible to have these relationships while you're in college and high school, but I think that both sides need to understand that schoolwork is also important and you guys need to work out a schedule to where it works for both of you guys and to where you both can get along and hang out and do these things. But that it not interfere with your studies. Okay. Another thing you know it's getting too serious is that there's a lot of jealousy involved. Um, this person is always constantly calling you. They're always checking your test messages. They are, um, you know, concerned with what you're doing, checking your emails, your Facebook, and I think that is because they're starting to feel insecure, like they feel like this is the only person for them and that, you know, they don't want anybody else to get in the way. And I think when you start becoming jealous, like I think honesty and communication is so important in a relationship. And if you start losing that trust and that honesty, I think that is a really an honest sign that you are getting too serious. Like if you're finding yourself like 
constantly keeping track of every single thing that they do and you start you stop losing your trust that's also a sign that you're getting too serious so I think that it's important to say you know if you start feeling this jealousy I think it's important to communicate and say hey um, I've been seeing you talking with this girl a lot I don't, don't want to get jealous but is there something that's there so I think that communication is also important and if you find yourself constantly trying to keep track of this person trying to look at their text messages their email and everything that they do I think that's a sign that you're getting too serious too quickly and you start pulling a lot of other people into your relationship you start putting a lot of drama and things that doesn't really need to be there if you would just communicate and talk so um, that's pretty much it um, I had to cut this video short because I won't be able to post this but um, I really really want to emphasize the importance of communication I want to emphasize the importance of trust and I want to emphasize the importance of age and I think that age is really an important factor when determining when it gets serious and when to not get serious and I think you know if the relationship is going to be worthwhile if you're going to spend the rest of your life with this person but I don't think that being in a relationship should hinder you from spending time with your friends and I don't think it should hinder you from your studies and I don't think that you should be so caught up in trying to keep track of this person and watch everything that they do that the relationship doesn't become fun anymore. It's not fun anymore. It's more like hard work. So, um, really, getting serious too quickly is a very dangerous thing. I think that you should take it slow. I think that you should become friends, get to know each other really well, and develop this really this tight closeness that can't tear you apart because you have this friendship factor involved in your relationship. So um, that's pretty much it. If you have anything else that you want to add to this discussion, if you want to ask me anything, or if you have anything else that you think contributes to getting too serious too quickly, um, leave it in the comment box below. And of course, please rate. And um, I'm definitely going to be doing more relationship videos. I'll be done with finals next week. And so I'm going to be finally free. My last final is going to be a week from today. So um, I'm definitely glad about that. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. And I hope to talk to you guys soon.